On March 12th of last year, I lost my healthy, bubbly, affectionate four-year-old daughter, Audrey, overnight to a common virus. My entire family was at the hospital to say goodbye to her, a gift of fate that has come to mean so much to me afterwards. As my whole family grieved and I was in a haze for months, I gradually began to notice something. My mother, who I am very close to, seemed to be coping even maybe worse than I was. She cried if Audrey's name came up. She was tense and nervous a lot. She worried about our family get-togethers. When I wasn't completely enveloped in my own grief, it would occasionally confuse me. Is it possible for someone to be more upset about the loss of my daughter than my husband and I? One day recently, I got to remembering the other mothers in her family. As a small child, I had the unusual fortune of knowing not only my mother and my grandmother, but also my great-grandmother and even my great-great-grandmother. I remember being amused even as a six-year-old when my great-great-grandmother fussed over my grandma. Were you careful driving over? I heard sirens. <laughs> <laughs> Have you eaten recently? Here's five dollars for your gas. As I thought about these classic motherly conversations taking place between a 99-year-old and her 60-year-old granddaughter, <laughs> something began to dawn on me. Naturally, my mother was mourning the loss of her granddaughter, but perhaps just as strongly, she was mourning something else at the same time. My mother lost a granddaughter but she also lost the carefree daughter she had, who will never be the same. What a trial as a mother to realize the fact that there's nothing you can do to help your daughter in her darkest hour. She often says to me, I just wish there were something I could do to take some of the pain away, to which I can only reply, me too, mom, me too. Unfortunately for us both, no amount of money or chicken soup or pedicures can fix this. The anxiety of watching your, mother, your child suffer and to know that suffering will last a very long time has to be an unbelievable burden to bear as a mother or father. At times, life can seem exhausting as a parent not just the day-to-day -day routine, the laundry and the packed lunches and the bedtimes, but the knowledge that you can never stop worrying about your children. Mothering is like a marathon with an ever-receding finish line. <laughs> Thinking of my great-great-grandmother still worrying about her descendants at nearly 100 years old, I admit, it's a daunting prospect to me to worry for another 70 years. <laughs> but there's also comfort in the constancy. Because if my grandmother will always feel like a mother to my 65-year-old mom, and she will always feel like a mother to me, then that means I will always feel like Audrey's mother, no matter how many years pass. I guess, in the end, I feel lucky to have so many mothers and children in my life. Even though Audrey never got the chance to be a mother in this life, I like to think of her and my great-great-grandmother having a good chat about my mom and me. <laughs> Maybe we should remind them to eat some lunch. Have they gotten the brakes checked on the car lately? Let's hide that $5 bill in their coat pocket for later.